Hello, space friends. Captain Snuggles here, finally back with episode 3 of my Jump Light Odyssey Final Patch Appreciation playthrough. JLO's development may be on indefinite hiatus, but that doesn't mean that we can't appreciate this final patch for what it is, and not gonna lie, it's a heck of a patch. It's been so impressive thus far, actually, that I have made almost no progress in this playthrough. So let's see if I can't do something about that this time. Of course, it has been a while since I played this game, so I'm gonna need just a couple minutes to refresh my memory on where we are, what we're up to, and what we need to do to keep our crew alive and reach the Forever Star. But after that little reintroduction, I'm hoping that I can really make some forward progress here. So, all right, here is our glorious ship, the SDF Catalina. We're orbiting a beacon. Bridge is looking normal. Promenade, I have a nice galley coming along, which is good because I see I have 19 starving crew, which is not great. Let me make sure this is all in order. Yep, prioritized, prioritized, all right. I believe this is one of the last things I got finished last time, so hopefully I'll see that number start to tick down. Looks like we're doing all right on rest, but we do have a nice crew quarters coming together. A little bit of a washroom. We still have Euphoras chambers. We might uh, end up demolishing those at some point, but for right now, uh, for right now, we're still good. And of course, a nice shrubbery room up front. Love that. Oh yeah, and as a reminder, we are playing with the the dev team crew, and so a lot of crew members are actually members of the the development team and are sort of custom characters they have made for themselves, which is pretty cool. Now that back to the tour, so Promenade looks fine. We have our sweet hamster wheels for power here, love that. I believe there's a secondary power room down lower. Water room, barely breaking even, maybe. Oh right. Somebody died and we need to recycle their corpse into biomass. So that's fun. Med bay looks fine. We're extracting metal. We're very low on metal and a little bit low on plastic. So hopefully we can uh, remedy those situations. And we've met all the prerequisites for advanced crops. We don't only have two, uh, two of those crops actually planted. So definitely need to work on that. Let's see, all right, four turrets powered. Three shuttles. Yep, a little power room down here, one nuclear generator. I can't remember if they implemented radiation or not, or not but I guess we'll find out. Then let's see, what about the lower turrets? Not, rooms are not powered. Okay. Should probably lock these doors, huh? Alright. Oh yeah, and the engine room. I only have one jump light calibrator, so I'm gonna need to fix that. Let's go back up to the bridge. Check out the map. So, alright, yeah, we're about halfway through the Regency, so not far at all. Spent way too, not too much time watching those hamster wheels over the past two episodes. So we need to pick up the pace a little bit the mineral ring next. We're gonna need to make a big jump to get there. So yeah, I, I need to get one more jump light cartridge in the engine room to increase my jump range. I also need to work on food as well as metal and plastic production. Probably implementing that plastic production will make me short on biomass. Then if I fix that I'll be short on water. Then if I fix that I'll be short on power. So, hopefully, we can turn that into just a fun little resource loop and not a death spiral. 
We'll see. Uh, I need to be careful because they have turned the difficulty back up a bit uh, in this final patch. Which, hey, I, I'm, I'm all about that, but that does mean I need to play it safe. So, alright. I'm gonna try to get all of that started. Beginning with the food. And once I've sort of laid the groundwork for that, I think probably I will just uh, skip on ahead. Uh, I'll play through and not commentate. Skip on ahead to the mineral ring and catch up with you all there. Unless something absolutely cataclysmic happens. Oh right, before I do this, I should actually see about sending out a shuttle, huh? That'd be smart. It's got a survey operation going. This one's fast, yep. It's good. Looks like these guys did just come back from a mission. So they might be tired, but they're gonna have to deal. Away Should also pick a destination. To your Which will be well, the only place we can reach is this asteroid field. Which is fine anyway, it'll give, it'll give us a little preview of how our ship might fare in the asteroid fields of the mineral ring. So, yeah, that's a good next destination. Might pick up a little bit of metal at the same time. Alright, so now with that done, now we can get our crops in place. I believe these are both corn. I think corn is probably the most dependable, but we, we don't want space scurvy, so... I will also get one orange crop. I'm trying to figure out how best to arrange this. Probably Probably like that for now, maybe. Yeah, and then we can get one more row over here like that. Yeah? Yeah. Sure. Go with that. Alright, there goes more than half of my metal right away. Engineers, report to your assignments. <laughs> Can't wait to see the biomass recycler in action. The corpse of our fallen crewmate will not go to waste. I wonder if that was a member of the dev team who died. I'll try to remember to check out the corpse <laughs> when it's on its way to the recycler. Uh, okay, yep, I know people are getting hungry. We we're hopefully fixing that. We have one guy in despair as well. I should find him or her. Alright. We'll be able to use this screen, the inventory, to check in more on our resources here shortly, but I believe we need to play a little bit more to get accurate numbers out here. So I'll check that back in on that soon. Let me find the crew manifest here. Try and find the person who is in despair. I don't remember if there's any good sort of pop-up icon. I think you just have to scroll over them, yeah? Starving, dehydrated. <laughs> Grieving. Stressed. I, don't, I did not mean to just start you. My bad. In despair, there we go. Alright, DeWald. Looks like we already dealt with him a little bit last time, but we're gonna try to do that again. He's also isolated. So... We'll send Ham. To cheer him up a little bit. Hopefully that'll help. Alright, we have people eating. Number of starving crews going down. This is good. Then, alright, the biomass recycler is up. Crops are being built. See a corpse being wheeled in yet, so we'll check back in shortly. How's my mission doing? Not there yet. Right. 
try to play a little bit more seriously this time. Just to make some progress and to hopefully not die. Alright, I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Hey, there's a corpse being wheeled in. Show me who that is. No, I wanted to see. No! Oh. No, let me select the body bag. Alright, hopefully that was not a member of the dev team. Hopefully that was just some random goon I picked up. Whoever it was, thank you for your sacrifice your biomass will be put to good use. I believe this makes the the user sad as well. Let's watch that morale tick down if at all. It's 82 now. Let me check this. It produces morale of operator. So I want to see how that works. Doesn't look like it is going down over time. Oh, minus 20. All right. Yeah. That's pretty bad. Not make or break. And we got four biomass out of, out of that poor guy. Well, it's better than nothing. Oh, dang it, I got distracted. And I was slightly suboptimal in my, uh, in my shuttle allegation. Oh well. Alright, so what do we have? We have a search and rescue. Not up for that right now. Scientific gets composites, which is great, but I think we're okay for right now on composites. Military ammo, don't need it right now. Civilian. Metagel, food. Let me double check my supplies. 37 composites, those will go pretty quickly once I start building engine upgrades, but for right now, might be nice to just get a little bit of extra food on board, huh? And the Metagel, we only have nine left. So yeah, let's, let's hit up a civilian salvage opportunity. Ammo though, we have 44. 44 is enough for right now. We won't do a military just yet, even though it gets us more Metagel. That food would be really nice to have. So, all right. 60% success, it's not very good. Let's see. We have Chan, uh, one of the community managers, on this one. Let's send her into the Jaws of Death. Let's see. Is there anyone available to help with this? Spacecraft Resilience. Is that call sign? Well... I don't love it, but if it succeeds, that extra 5% from Chan would be really nice to have, because she's a, she's a supplier. Yeah, I'm going to risk sending Elijah out even though they are uh, isolated. Oh, what? <laughs> Elijah was already on the shuttle. Whoops, I'm dumb. All right, well, then... Okay. All right, let's we'll get another combat person in there. Oh, right, uh, I was looking for an icon up here. It's down here. I do not remember a whole lot about exactly how to play this game. Uh, Josh looks healthy. Okay, well... Good luck, team. Could launch one more as well. Maybe I should send out that last shuttle to the other civilian salvage, I think. 
really stock up on food while we get those new crops up and running. And then, that will hopefully allow us to pick up some more people as well and max out our hope bar. To offset the inevitable loss of one or more crew members on these salvage runs. Okay, still 14 starving crew. Not great, not terrible. I don't know if y'all saw that. Thessie just did a sweet little butcher knife flip. Which... Hmm. That was impressive, Thessie. Did a sweet trick with the knife and pulled Produce right out of the wall. <laughs> I know she was interacting with her refrigerator, but it still looked funny. Alright. Ham. Whatever. Stay in the vending machine, see if I care. Alright. What's next? Let's see if we can get that plastic production up and running. What's the problem here? It's just uh, it's not stocked with resources. Okay. It's fine. They should be getting stocked soon. Let's try to get some plastic. Takes 20 metal. We have 22. Okay. Perfect. Definitely not worried about that at all. This looks like a good enough location, I guess. Could put it like right there. Leave a little bit more space. This might be more economical here, but I worry about that right hand hopper though. Could offset that by opening up the room a little bit more. Yeah. I think this spot is just generally better. Fingers crossed they can actually get to that hopper. Sweet. Sitting on three surplus metal. No problem at all. Oh, nice. Starting people are going down. Isolation is becoming an issue, which means... I think the mess tables will help with isolation. Yeah, it's going down. Okay, we're down to two now. Need to find DeWald again. See how his despair is doing. Probably just need to rescue more people to get him in a good mood again. Then I will need to... Add in some recreation facilities, I think. For right now, I think we're more or less stabilizing. Let's check this. Alright, this is all unsurprising. Produce is going down. Hopefully, that will be offset. Bio biomass looks like we're at a little bit of a deficit. Power, we're good. We have a surplus. Water, it looks like we also have a little bit of a surplus. So, alright. We'll keep an eye on this. Then... Mm, yep. So we're worst on connectedness here. So we should try and get some more morale boosting facilities when we can. Alright, cool. I do love this, uh, this starship readout screen. It's really helpful. And what do you want, supply officer? The re we recycle. That's true, I think it's on the lower deck. Alright, and also, Ham, get out of that soda machine. You're done. You're done. Dang pig. Daggum pig. Alright. Let's see how scrap is bearing down here. We still have 98 material. I'm not too worried. I am worried about having these four turrets unpowered down here. That is potentially troublesome. It's absolutely potentially troublesome. So let's see. That is... 
eight. Just look at how much material I can theoretically get out of here. Four, yeah. So just a total of twelve. Yeah, I don't really care about that. We'll deal with that when the time comes. When I need to expand this, this corridor out and restore access to these turrets, then I will clear up this scrap. But for right now, I think our crew is probably busy enough with everything I've already asked them to do. No. Dang it. Alright, so we failed one mission. The better one. But we still have this second civilian salvage opportunity returning. Succeed? I don't know. Yes, it was a success. Perfect. Right. New ones are on top now. Okay. So, got something out of it. All right. Well, here we go. It is looking like we're more or less stabilized here. Food is definitely a potential issue, but we're okay for now. Power's good. Yeah, everything's looking all right. So, I'm going to just try and press on to the mineral ring, keep myself stabilized, get that extra jump light cartridge, maybe even an extra jump light calibrator, maybe pick up some more refugees if it looks like I'm stable enough, and just keep trying to stabilize the ship and beef myself up for the much more difficult later stages. So that is the plan. Uh, I will let y'all know if anything really catastrophic happens, but uh, unless that's the case, I will talk to you in the mineral ring.
that star a little closer, shall we? Punch it! Sequence initiate in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, here we are. We have reached the mineral ring. Jumped right into an asteroid field, unsurprisingly. Let's see what the Zootopian status is back there. We do not have a timer because they temporarily paused. Did not last very long. Target this next ringed giant so we can quickly jump out of here if we need to the asteroids start flying now then during my trip through the last of the regency I did stop at an asteroid field I did not get hit by any asteroids didn't even see any incoming asteroids which was convenient but I'm not being complacent I am powering up my lower deck turrets just to be safe other than that let's see we did run into power issues so I added another nuclear reactor added one more shuttle really struggled with produce so we've really expanded the crops here so hopefully that'll take care of it. I believe I dipped down to uh, eight produce at the lowest point. And even when I've had a surplus, it's been tough for the crew to feed themselves just because I've only had two kitchens and two tables. So I'm adding one more kitchen so that hopefully there will be more meals available so that the crew AI will, uh, will understand that there is, in fact, food for them to eat. So that's the hope. That's the update. I didn't worry too much about water. I did okay on that. Had to pick up some more metagel, added a metagel centrifuge. But in general, it got a little dicey in there, but we're looking pretty stable right now. See if we can keep that up. I'm not going to send out a survey. I'm just going to into all four shuttles on resource extraction to really build up the metal surplus. I think that will come in handy. Underway. Crew, report to your assignments. Away mission underway. Crew, report to your assignment. I'm gonna have some tired shuttle crews. Away mission underway. Crew, report to your But they're gonna have to deal with it because. I do need the resources. Absolutely. Great. Alright. I was also trying to micromanage my crew a little bit, finding, uh, finding tired people, uh, or people in various states of poor health, especially my shuttle crews, and manually uh, giving them a... Uh, a shift off with this interface here and go off duty. And I think, I hope that that bit of micromanagement and sort of the rest, the R&R that the shuttle crews got are, as a result, I hope that that will help them survive this asteroid field. We'll see. Pam, get out of the vending machine. Please, thank you. I'm going to prioritize. Oh, nice. People are already working on this. Very cool. I can also add a dishwasher to this room at some point, which will increase the cooking speed. And if we start to stabilize with three kitchens, might start to fill in some of these extra spaces with tables. Something like 
that. Something like this could work. Right here. Leave a little bit of extra space around the sides. That could work. The thing about this kitchen location is that... Pause it so I can show you. These two airlocks are here, and the Zootopans may very well catch me at some point. I do not know how the Zootopans are tuned in this final patch. So ideally, I would want to eventually block these two spots off and add doors or blast doors like that right just to add a little bit more of a barrier in between the boarding parties that might come in, come in here and the crew that are eating in the galley that's the hope and so I'm trying not to fill up these areas here with anything, which makes the galley more cramped than it looks. So we'll see what we can do without utilizing those areas. And if, if, we, if we have to use them in the end, well, we'll use them, but I'm trying not to. Alright. Nice. First mission is back, perfect success. Very nice, very nice. There's people playing cards. Still have three crew isolated, despite adding in that card table, so we will add... Oh, asteroid incoming. Ah. Red alert. Forget the card tables. I believe I saw somebody just fall out of bed there, which is a cool little animation. Makes sense. Sudden red alert. Probably should have already been at red alert. Well, I don't know. Maybe not. Well, alright, great. We already have two turrets manned. That's perfect. Failed one mission, that's alright. I'm gonna quickly see if anybody died. Can't tell. Alright, come on. Nice! Took out one asteroid, good job, Felix. Asteroid number two. Nice! Good job, Little. Very nice. Ooh, that looked like a beaten up shuttle coming in. Alright. Good. Oh no, it's alright. So yeah, that one's good. Perfect success. I don't see any body bags. Yep, alright. We are okay. Yeah, this one didn't even take damage, at least. If it did, it's been repaired already, so... Could have been worse. We had three successes and one failure. Still have people starving. Alright, perfect. We are ready to jump. We've done all of the resource extraction, so yeah, let's just jump. Take the ship to jump light. Hold on. So get out of this asteroid field. We'll use the next system just to jump get some R and R. Rest the shuttle crews. Yeah, this is a, a slow away mission system anyway because of the high gravity. So, yeah, we just want to send any away missions. Simple solution. Looks like our biomass is going down. Let's see. Alright, what's the situation? We're at a slight deficit on biomass, still a big deficit on produce. Jeez Louise. Alright. Oh wait, created zero, but we just haven't had a crop come in, it doesn't look like. Okay, in the last 12 hours we're at a plus 5 on produce, but that's because we found some. Alright, yeah, we still need to wait to see how, how the produce shakes out. 
but I think it would be good to add in one more algae crop biomass. Serious Tetris going on in this room. Engineers to your assignment. We go ahead and expand out manufacturing there just to free up this site a little bit. Go ahead and get that done. Perfect. Hmm. We reached the mineral ring, but we did not get much of a hope boost. You, we used to get a decent boost in the hope every time, uh, every time the Catalina crossed a region boundary. It does not appear to be the case now. So. Why are we stacking stuff on the floor? Storage full? What's going on? No. 179 out of 500, 41 out of 500. We have plenty of storage space. <laughs> Why is the crew suddenly so messy? Huh? Riddle me that. Oh well. All right. I'm getting distracted as usual. Yeah, I already forgot what I was going to do. Oh well. <laughs> Couldn't have been that important, right? Right, I was going to put another uh, recreation facility in. We already have one card table. We're looking okay on metal and plastic for the moment. So we can use these slightly better, just slightly less efficient... Oh no, we don't even have private suite installed here, so... We could go ahead and install that, I suppose. Drop this right here. I think it's worth trying, right? Yeah, it's not that efficient on resources or space. Is there a better way to situate it? Maybe like that. I would like to have some variety because the card table can give a mood debuff if the results are bad. Just gonna experiment with the Tetris a little bit. I don't really love it either way. It's probably better like this. Yeah. I like to pour the other way. Alright. Okay, well, it's not efficient, but I will have to live with the inefficiency. Okay, great. To make sure I don't burn too much met or too much biomass making metagel, also. Are we serious right now? Are we serious right now with these stupid walls? All right, okay, they're gonna fix it. I was about to say, I'd be mad. I was gonna be real mad. Okay, great. Oh, I should probably plug in my next jump. Then we're gonna hop to there. Hop from one asteroid field to the next. Uh, yeah. I hope that was enough of a break for the shuttle crews. Initiate jump light drive. Gonna give it a shot. We're doing pretty well on metal and material now. In five, four, so I may actually. Two, one. Man. What I should have done was just skip this asteroid field and go to the next one. 
Just get a little bit more R and R for the shuttle crews. But I'll just try for a short hop here. Should be able to charge a jump light pretty quickly. We will not send out any missions. Hop to the next one. Maybe grab some resources there. Let's keep on with short hops. That'll be the plan. Yeah, I may regret that later. I'm sure I'll have to burn through a lot of metal at some point. But... I want to give the shuttle crews just a little bit more rest. look freaking cool freaking cool all right we've arrived reprieved from the risk of asteroids at least and possibly a chance to send out some slightly less stressful shuttle missions so hopefully the crews are rested because they are <laughs> going that way Let's make it happen. So, first thing we want is a survey operation. Send out the fast crew. Away missions underway. Crew report to your assignment. I would love to actually pick up some more refugees here too, because I'm seeing my food actually tick up. Which is great. We could grab one more batch of refugees. That would be lovely. First priority is still the salvage operation, so we'll see what's available when the survey completes. I'm gonna target this asteroid belt for now. We could also stop. Well, we don't really need to go to a frozen system. We're fine on water. Famous last words. We can go to either the asteroid field or the beacon. Just depending on how much time we have. How much jump, how much jump light we've charged when we finish our shuttle missions here. For right now, we'll target the asteroid field. Alright. Now then, let's look around, see how we're doing. Isolation's still not great. Hopefully with the extra table and all the extra recreation facilities, hopefully we will be all right. long-term plan could be to expand yeah this doesn't really make much sense the way this is laid out to get more space in the crew quarters here by converting this section of corridor over to crew quarters I think we'll need to move this power switch yeah so we need to 
several things. But I think that'll be a good a good little project to do while we wait for the shuttle to get back. Drop that there. Not sure we really need an oxygen gin in that corridor there. It's not a bad idea though. Okay. Get that going. Then, yeah, we'll be able to put doors here and here to open up. <coughs> I'll convert this to crew quarters. That should be good. Give us more space for recreation and hopefully deal with some of this isolation. Hmm. So starting to get a little bit of dehydration. Wonder if is there any way to get a vending machine in any of these other rooms? No, no. We could get caffeination and tea infusion, but not vending machines. Okay. We gotta need the other ones. Yeah. All right. So. So we really need coffee and tea, huh? Coffee and or tea. Because then we could actually spread our hydration throughout the ship. Stave off this incoming dehydration. Speaking of hydration, I feel like we're just barely breaking even on water. I would love to get a secondary water room. Waterworks downstairs. Here. Long term goals. For right now, survey is back. Let's take a look at the missions. Oh, that's, that is a lot of salvage opportunities. Wow. Okay. I think I'm going to take. Hmm. We have 30 composites. That's pretty good. So I'm not sure we need to do the scientific one just yet. I think we can do both civilian ones and one of the militaries. Go with that. Away approved. Flight crew report to assignment. It'll get us an okay little influx of uh, of composites, as well as quite a bit of food and a little bit of ammo. It's a decent meta gel. I think that'll be good. Man. It's hard to pass up 18 composites, but I think this is the better option. Yeah, I hate to tell you, but we are not jumping yet. Alright. Let's go with that. It would really be smart for me to have one... Uh, one supply... One supply crewman on each of these uh, shuttle teams just to increase the amount of the amount of composites I get with each mission by one. That'd be pretty nice. Of course the success rate goes down when you take a, uh, a combat person off. Might be worth it. Now then, let's see. Coffee and tea, huh? I don't think there is room for them in the greenhouse. Also, which one is best? T for the morale may be good. We're having, we've had a few people go into despair and people are struggling with isolation. 
Oh, we can fit them in. Nice. Well, then, why don't I just... Just drop this right here. Save me from having to expand the room. I can do it right now. Before I do that, I just want to try and get a quantitative assessment of how we're doing on produce. I also need to add more biomass, it looks like. How are we doing? Barely breaking even on both, it looks like. Oh yeah, also, while I'm thinking about it, it's not right. Go ahead and target the beacon for jump. We can pick more refugees up there. I think that's going to be the play. Yeah, the layout's going to be a little bit ugly, but I think I'll probably live. I'm going to add tea there and one more algae. Stuff for it. Yeah, we're fine. Cool. Now yeah, we'll just roll with that. Engineers, report to your assignments. Great. Eventually we can expand this room out, get more crops. Yeah, having having the tea front and center here isn't great because tea doesn't need to be tended. So having it sort of in the front part of the room is a little bit inefficient. But I'd like to just go ahead and get it going as opposed to waiting to expand the room. And then putting it down. So let's see. What all can we build in here? Decontamination pod. I wonder if my crew is actually going to get irradiated. Be interesting to see that. Tank for burns and frostbite, huh? Wonder if I should just preemptively grab this. How much space does it take up is the question. Could put it right here. Yeah. It's not gonna be done in time to help bird screw that I might have gotten from this system, but next time we need to go into a, uh, a lava-y or icy system. That'll be ready. Cool. Okay, this is starting to actually look kind of decent. How are my missions going? Returning. About to find out, uh, find out how they went. Try and watch these guys come in. There's one. Out it go. Perfect success. Heck yes. All right, there should be another one coming in fairly soon. Look at all that produce we're getting. Love that. Okay. Next shuttle is in. Normal success. Did we lose anybody? No, we did not. Okay. Water still looks okay. We have gotten... All my shuttle crews so far have gotten wounded. Which means we're going to be using up some of this metagel that they've just recovered. But still... But still, everybody's alive. And a success. Okay. Let's see this last one. Okay, everybody is alive. Perfect. The shuttle got beaten up. And immediately repaired. Thank you, Luke. Part of the dev team. A real go-getter. Lovely. 
Okay. Perfect. Well, then, that is it for this system. We are just about ready to jump. <laughs> there we are. Perfect timing. Let's see. What's the plan? Yeah, let's pick up some more people at this next system. Initiate jump light drive. Jump light in five, four, three, two, one. First unconscious. Still alive. Do we have first aid kits somewhere for the unconscious people? I wonder. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop down to the hangar and check on that, huh? I imagine my science officer Sam would tell me if I didn't. I also don't see any. Okay, water's running a l Is it running low? We have almost 500. Yeah, I know, isolation, yada yada. Um, okay. First aid kits. Is that one on the wall there? No. It's probably one in here. Yes. And we've taken one out to heal the unconscious person. Perfect. All right. So, let's see. I think I'm going to target this next... Fractured world. But how far are we from the Zootopians? 100 minutes. Yeah, we have time to bounce around a little bit, stock up on resources. That'll be A-OK. -okay. So, we're going to jump there next. We're going to bounce around... Long-term plans. We're going to bounce around, stock up on metal, because that's the real benefit of the mineral ring, is metal and... Uh, what's it called? Metal and material. So we're going to stock up on that, because we'll need that long-term as we move through these more difficult regions. We're going to pick up a few more crew members here. 70%. All right, let's send out... Oh! Nice. Plus 30% on this team. Somebody got a call sign. Love that. So that'll give us 100% chance of getting those refugees. Don't know how many there are, but I feel comfortable picking them up. That's all we'll do in this system. Jump over here, grab some metal, treat the burn victims. Jump over here, grab some metal, treat the burn victims. And maybe bounce around some asteroid belts try and dodge or blow up the asteroids. Get a last couple rounds of metal and materials and then head into the Oort Nebula. So that is going to be the plan. I'll probably skip ahead once again very shortly. But for right now I want to finish off a couple of things and hopefully see these rescued crew members come in. Okay, so... First, let's wrap up this little mini project here. Nice. There we go. That'll do. Let's make that happen. I say mini project. That was like 20 construction tasks I just laid out. Starvation is gradually dropping down. Still a couple people wounded, but hopefully they are getting treated. Yes, they are. Look at that. <laughs> Chan's all healed up. Perfect. That's getting built. That's getting built. Be able to add some tea. Keep people happy. Lovely. Produce still, still barely breaking even on produce and biomass, I think. A little bit of a deficit in biomass, but that's okay. Plastic ticking up, metal, we have a nice stockpile, could always use more. Power doing great, water barely breaking even, okay. Cool, things are 
looking up, finally. We can add some more recreation over to this end of it. That'll be great. Hm. Nobody in bed right now, even though we have two exhausted people. It's interesting. Okay, one person's going to bed. I guess a shift must have just changed. Alright, cool. Cool, cool. What's up with you, Richard? Ooh, injured. Injured. Daydreaming. Wait, food. It's just a basic kitchen, huh? Richard, you're injured. Eat from the kitchen that heals you. You fool. And did you just stand there and eat an entire meal, tray and all? In set no wonder you're injured! This man just shoved an entire freaking meal into his face. What? Richard! Richard, you fool. Is this why we're always short on food? Is this your fault, Richard? Good lord. Okay, he's a bookworm. Maybe if we add a bookshelf in here, it'll distract him from just eating all of our food. Richard, sit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, let's give him a... Go to the freaking med bay, Richard. Stop eating every single meal as soon as it pops up. Yeah, get out of here. Classic. Classic Richard. Let's... Let's build a bookshelf for this eldritch abomination. It's a bottomless pit of a man. Uh huh. Over here is fine, probably. Right? I don't know. How about next to the seat over here? It's better. Yeah. Seven plastic. Oh, it's worth it. It distracts him from consuming every scrap of food on the ship. Absolute maniac. Is my shuttle mission back yet? Bring me some more... Some more people to distract me from, from Richard. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Nice! An even ten... Refugees. Look sad, Andrew. Let's, uh, let's cheer you up. Adrian's unconscious. Hey, look at that. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Saved some people. New refugees. Couple new crew members in there. And Hope is almost maxed out. Alright. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Great. Well, then... I guess that does it for this system. I'm gonna pop over to the next one, try and get some resources, bounce around, but you've already seen me do this, so I'm gonna go ahead and just skip ahead through this, and I'll see you all in the Word Nebula.
And here we are. We have reached the Oort Nebula. I got a concerning looking pop-up right as I was jumping out, so I hope that's not a, a major issue. Let's see. Things went about as planned during that leg of the trip. We stopped at some of these fractured worlds and a couple of asteroid belts, got a ton of metal, got quite a few crew members burned. But I think it was worth it because we have the equivalent of about 400 metal, which is a, a tremendous stockpile that should pretty much get us through the rest of the run. Might need to top off once or twice, but it's a really, really good stockpile. We're also doing pretty well on food, produce, and biomass. We're doing well enough that I was actually able to pick up another load of refugees, so that was great. On the on the not so great but still cool side, at a turp, I decided that uh, well, I discovered. That's the word. I discovered that radiation is in fact a thing, so I had to build a decontamination pod to uh, to decontaminate my nuclear engineers. So that's nice. Kind of cool. But it did burn through all of my metagel. Between that and the uh, and all the burn victims, I'm pretty much out of metagel, so I hope I can get some production of that going again. Uh, I also discovered why I need this much food, this many crops, to feed this crew. It is because that uh, that cycle of uh, of eating and dropping the food, or, or picking up the food and dropping it, picking it up, etc., etc., uh, that we saw earlier, that was not just a one-time thing. Who remembers with the uh, with the daydreamer trait will actually pick up tray food start daydreaming, drop the food on the ground, still be hungry, so when they stop daydreaming, they'll pick up more food, start daydreaming again, drop it again, etc., etc. And so, uh, maybe it's a feature, not a bug, but I'm pretty sure it's a bug, because uh, daydreaming, daydreamer crew members cannot eat, and will just starve. Permanently. While also throwing all our food on the ground. So that's nice. However, we do have the technology to uh, to keep them healed up through the run with the power of, uh, of tea for their morale and the good old Metagel to, to keep them healed up through the starvation. So... Yeah, that's kind of funny, but it is what it is. And, honestly, I'm feeling pretty good uh, about this run. So, let's see. We are here in the Oort Nebula. We have gotten through the Mineral Ring. So that's one more region down. And, how many left to go? One, two, three. Three regions left to go, huh? This may be a much longer series than I thought, but I am enjoying it. And I hope that you are too. So, with that, I'm going to go ahead and call it quits for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you will tune in next time to see us cross the Oort Nebula. And, until then, this is Captain Snuggles, signing off. <laughs>